WordPress. So one of the most popular frameworks on the internet is WordPress. And I have no idea how many there is, but it's, I think I saw a statistic somewhere sometimes last year that, you know, 40% or something like high number. You know, when you talk about the whole world, and you, you just can say 10%, it is like a lot of sites. So basically there's a tool you can use to scan WordPress sites. It is called VP scan. And I just pulled it up here on my, on my terminal, VP scan. So basically I just wrote, it's a long help file, <laughs> VP scan dash help. And then you get all these kind of information about WordPress VP scan. <clears throat> what you could try is to see if you have the latest version. So VP scan dash dash, I think it's update. Let's see what happens. Yeah, it would seem that this was correct. And it basically just say updating the, updating the database and update complete. So this is basically how it runs. Um, WordPress scan is a very small nifty funky funny tool that can scan WordPress sites, security scanner, whatever you're gonna call it. And in order to, to just try something, I booted up a, a WordPress room here on TryHackMe, which, um, where's the IP address to the room? I think I pressed, I would like to, to I would like to think that I did press it, but I didn't press it. So it's just something I said, now I pressed it. All right, so just in a minute's time, we're gonna have it up. Anyways, let's go to the uh, WordPress scan. I think this is the, um, the, the if, well, I guess the documentation you can call it. And if you read all this, you can see how you install it and updating and, you know, different kind of things. So the first thing you're gonna encounter is something called enumeration modes. And it basically tells you when enumerating the WordPress version, installed plugins, installed themes, you can use the three different modes, which is passive, aggressive, and mixed. So if you want the most result, use the mixed mode. However, if you are worried that the server may not be able to handle large number of requests, use passive mode. And the default mode is mixed, by the way. It tells us, with the exception of plugin enumeration, which is passive, you will need to manually override the plugin detection mode if you want to use anything other than the default with the plugin detection option. All right, so <clears throat> further reading uh, tells us that we can, uh, with a small cheat sheet down below here, uh, see that we write something like VP scan dash dash URL and dash E is for the, um, let's see, if not the flag default will be. All these kind of things, which is, Vulnerable plugins, VT is for vulnerable themes. So basically it will be a lot of the different things it will try to enumerate. So with this dash EVP, we only look for vulnerable plugins and plugin detection be mixed, which we just read in the top that uh, with the exception of plugin enumeration, which is passive. So we think that mixed is the way to go. And we then have some API token, which is probably supplied by the WordPress site, if there's anything like that. And there are many different things you could do. Um, you can also try to brute force attack. I guess that would be the actual login page of a WordPress site. Let's go ahead and copy the URL to the uh, WordPress site on TryHackMe. We boot it up. Now, I want to say that I have no idea if this WordPress site is vulnerable or anything. It just, I just searched WordPress and it popped up as an easy one. So I figured why not try to use that particular room uh, for our small video here. So this is just another WordPress site, basic title, try hack me, hello world. And we should be able to do something like VP admin. Uh, if I could spell it, it would be better. And be like that. And then we can see the login page. So everything is normal. This is WordPress. So let's go ahead and start with um, a basic WordPress scan using the 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 tool. I mean, this shortcut we have here. So I'm just going to pull up the window so you can see what I'm doing. I want to make it a bit smaller and wider. You know, I really love this new UI that I, I I'm really happy that I downloaded the new version of Linux Kelly yesterday. Let's clear this and say VP scan dash dash ul. I think that is no the E. So let's go ahead and 
Let's see if copy pasting works now in this way. Because as you know, if you watch my videos, it does not. Okay. So still need to mark the IP address. Can I do it with the letters now? Like the keyboard? Oh wow. <laughs> okay, so I did did get some upgrade anyways. Alright, so should we should we scan for all? It says slash uh, dash e. That's just um, it's the following. Um, it says if no option is applied, dash e flag default will be. Let's just let's just say use default. You know why not? Just say we take all of these. So um, and since this is also a detection, so let's say plug uh, ins detection mixed. And I guess that would be it. Let me press enter. And now the WordPress scan is starting. And it's starting to find different kinds of things here. And you know, it's very informative in its way. And you know, it, it's gonna be quickly. All these kind of things, you can also save it into a file like piping your results by supplying a pipe and then, you know, uh, to some sort of program or uh, you know input stream but you can also do like I, th I assume you can do the uh, the greater than sign and then basically write it to direct a file however it would, would be nicer if there was like some some sort of let's assume there was some sort of you know output flag and I guess we can just go ahead and write VP scan just like that and then do dash dash help and then do grab output let's try this so the, there is there is actually an option we can do dash output or dash dash output as a file and then all the results we are scanning will be saved to that file then we can always just go back because sometimes the the screen buffer whatever I should call it will run out and then you cannot scroll all the way up depending on how much you will find so going back to the actual scan it's taking some time like 13 minutes ish what it did find up in the start is that it have interesting entry server. It found that by header, so passive, passive detection, 100% confidence, WordPress readme found. So we can already now just, you know, press the link here. I think we right click and copy, was that correct? No, we need to do something more with its a terminal window. We need to, I think this is the right way, copy selection. Then go ahead and read the readme file. And this readme file here, you know, contains some of the interesting things we can do in WordPress. Let's assume that open the the install in your browser and it says already installed, but you know, sometimes there are some flaws. Take us to the login page. Um, we can also try the, let's see, the update call if there's any issue with this and it seems that there's nothing but you know you can also like the upgrade no upgrade is required you know sometimes an update can even break a web page so this is already a vulnerability if now it kind of tells us that no update required what if there were an update required would it then update it for us and break some plugins and stuff uh, what would it do so so i would say hmm very interesting but then again this is not what we're here for. I'm just here to try to tell you about a few things. It does tell us it's an aggressive scan, so it's directly trying to access this file. Upload directory has listing enabled, so we can go ahead and, and view what's inside. So the external VP cron seems to be enabled, so we have some VP cron stuff. And it does have some references to that and some issues we can go ahead and read. And you can also prob probably also go to exploit DB, you know, and, and search for, for WordPress exploits. It's um, it's a WordPress release 5.6.2 identified insecure release on this date. So uh, it tells us that we can do different things and so on and so on. Now, this is just a WordPress scanner, you know, it will just tell us different things about WordPress, what's up, what's not up, what is bad, you know. And, and depending on how long we're gonna run this case, I think we're just gonna, you know, um, close it. Uh, so depending on what we're gonna scan for, you know, all this can be very interesting. 
can also go ahead and, and, and look at some of the more scans. It tells us that it's 2021. It's very f standard theme, uh, if I can remember correctly. Um, let's see. Anything more interesting going on here? Now, I would like to say that this is probably not the most interesting scan of them all. So what we could try is to say like, okay, so it did tell something about password brute force attacks. Let's go ahead and see like VP scan dash dash URL and all of this is fine. Let's see. Uh, so it's dash E and U for password and then passwords is user, user share word lists um, and we don't have we do not have uh, our let's just um, yeah let's uh, go ahead and this is a new fresh install so let's say user share word lists word lists and then we have a rock you can I just say unzip to that? I don't remember. It would seem that I could not. Let's try gzip. Uh, that one. Pseudo. So that's our big file with passwords. It's really large. Uh, unzip that. And basically just pick that as a completing file. Oh, the buster. Write the text, and I guess that would be it. So this would actually try and it would seem I would seem that brute forcing our way in. Uh, so. Basically, what it's doing on a really ship, I can go ahead and read. It's just like uh, path of brute force. Yeah, so yeah, I, I guess the dash EU is U is for the user ID range. So there's something about this, you know, and I'm I'm just trying this tool for, you know, I think if, if it's been about a couple of years ago since I looked at VP scan, and back then was ah, I didn't really like it, but I figure why not. Give it a try again and, and go ahead. So I would highly suggest that you go ahead and read um, up on the documentation about WordPress scan and the tool itself. And I'm pretty sure you can find something very interesting with it. I'm just gonna quit this because I'm not really gonna try and you know brute force my way. The room I'm I'm working on is uh, called WordPress. It's a it's a CVE. Um, this is a version thing, so. Uh, it has nothing to do with brute forcing, but it's a, probably something to do with the. Uh, let's see. Uh, let's just go ahead and, and just put it into the browser, I guess. So then. Um, there we have it. That is the one. And it would seem that this is a WordPress. XML something. Okay, so with that we can do different kind of things. Do we have a? I, I, anyways, this video is just not about this, so I'm gonna leave it for here for now. This is also a room. I'm not doing the room. I'm just using it as a test case. I'm gonna terminate it now. I'm also gonna leave the room because it's not really something I'm gonna do. Anyways, uh, I hope you liked it. I hope you liked the showcase of this tool, WordPress Scan. If you do so, uh, also like my videos, please consider subscribing to my channel. I'm gonna keep posting a lot of different videos. Uh, I post a lot of videos at the moment because it is end of term at my school, so it basically means that I have more time to post more videos for you guys. And if you do so, please like, comment below, and I will get back to you as soon as I can. Bye for now.